As promised, I am going to review um, some excerpts out of the newspaper. I'm really going to start looking at media in our country because I believe that the media is responsible for um, the misunderstandings and the misinformation in the public. And so I want to start addressing that. I've uh, A few articles have caught my eye this morning, not the least of which is the article which I just find incredible about Jamie Lee and the interview that was made with him. Savage Jamie Lee Ross interview wins fans. Now, who do you think the fans are? Apparently, they're saying that, um, and I hope you listened to that interview the other day, um, the day after the election, with um, Tova O'Brien, with Jamie Lee. And it was a really disgusting example of uh, attack. It was attack. And, and this is what our um, media now thinks is a fabulous thing. News Hub political editor Tova O'Brien woke up yesterday to a slew of new overseas fans after her interview of former Botany MP and advanced New Zealand co-leader Jamie Lee Ross on News Hub Nation. Uh, what she did is she, <clears throat> she didn't interview him, she attacked him in a so-called interview. And the seriousness of this is the message in, in, in inside of it. The message inside it is, do not express opinions that are not the opinions of the mainstream media and our leftist Labour government, or we will publicly destroy you. Uh, do not come in, on an interview with media. Do not try and speak to the people of New Zealand if you have an idea that we, the media, in our one position, do not agree with, or we will publicly destroy you. This is an incredibly irresponsible media. This is not what media is meant to be, people. Media is meant to be an avenue to inform and educate the public about what's going on, to report what's going on, not to express a, an enormous bias day after day after day. So that's my overview of that. And Jamie Lee, we said you love um, and we hope that we can address this dreadful media that has taken over New Zealand, who apparently are meant to be very kind. Uh, well, I'm not seeing it. Um, the, the next thing on a similar line is on the front page, it says China expert gagged over complaints. And we see here that Canterbury University China expert Professor Anne-Marie Brady has been gagged by her employer while a review into her research proceeds. And as we know, uh, Professor Anne-Marie Brady is the foremost expert on the um, Chinese Communist Party in New Zealand. And uh, it, it's once again an example of the media taking a position and uh, celebrating the snuffing out of free speech, the snuffing out of intellect, the snuffing out of um, some of our brightest people, which we are seeing every day, all day, right across the world right now. And this is a sad, sad day, people. Uh, so she's been hauled up for suggesting that uh, some universities may be uh, subject to... Um, the Chinese Communist Party influence by bringing into their universities. Uh, let's have a look. Let me just find it here. Yeah, so she says here, uh, the paper outlined how universities, academics and businesses could be inadvertently helping the Chinese Communist Party by collaborating with Chinese agencies in high tech research. Uh, there, so she's being gagged and shamed for that. And then the other thing, which is on another another matter, but I also thought was something worth a mention, is the article about the um, um, the surge of workers to paradise, and it features a young American nurse coming to New Zealand, um, saying that she's coming to paradise away from COVID hell, and um, how she fell in love with New Zealand when she came, and it. it just triggered me to check 
are, are we short of nurses? And what I discovered in that is that um, from the New Zealand Nurses Organisation, uh, they so they feel incredibly devalued as nurses, and um, and that whenever there's uh, defunding to happen, that it's the nurses that go, and that we are potentially faced with a nurse a nurses shortage because our nurses are aging. But also, it says here that the district health boards are saying a nursing shortage already looms due to its aging workforce, but the board plans to reduce the number of new graduates being employed. And I really feel it is time. We talk about sustainability, and I know it's all about um, the environment, which we love and we are all about, but we also need to become sustainable as a nation. And it looks here that we here we have new nurse graduates who are not getting employed and the government instead is bringing in nurses from overseas. And I think it is time that immigration um, stops being a, an easy answer, a cheap answer to solving New Zealand's problems. It is time that we trained our nation. It is time that we look ahead and we see what shortages we're going to have and we use the beautiful, bright um, intellect, the beautiful, bright skills and the strength of our own nation to become more self-sustaining and um, and more brilliant. Like, let's be small and amazing and let's build our critical thinking in our community. Let's build our skill sets. Let's find out what's needed and get our young people inspired to be part of that. And I really believe it should be the duty of a district health board to employ our own young graduates over and above, bringing in um, the world, who I'm quite sure would love to come in New Zealand in, into New Zealand, but instead we need to be valuing the people that we have. Our nurses should say we feel valued, and uh, because I've had I've had quite a lot to do with nurses. My father was ill early, earlier in the year. My mother's aging. And uh, what a calibre of people they are. These are people who work hard, but they're often extremely tired and overworked and not necessarily um, receiving the kind of rewards that they should. So that's my review for the day. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.